So social democracy, unlike democratic socialism, wants to use the innovative dynamism of capitalism, but at the same time tries to modify it in a labor and environmental friendly direction. By the way, I should mention a lot of people are confused on this distinction between social democracy and democratic socialism. Democratic socialism, since you, if you're a socialist, you want to replace capitalism. Social democracy does not replace capitalism, it modifies it. I, I, in many places I see this confusion. Take for example, this well-known senator in the United States, Bernie Sanders, and this whole group of left wing of the Democratic Party, they call them democratic socialists. They are not democratic socialists because they're not talking about replacing the American capitalist system. They talk usually in terms of better redistribution, but that's not going away from capitalism. So why do you call, them, call yourself uh, socialists? You are social democrats. So Bernie Sanders in my, and his followers, in my judgment, are social democrats in the European sense, not democratic socialists. Of course, it's a delicate balance to democratize the sphere of capital without quashing its dynamism. And what about data on innovations? So for example, if you look at the WIPO data, WIPO is the World Intellectual Property Office. They, in collaboration with Cornell University, publish a ranking of countries in terms of global, global ranking of countries in terms of innovation. If you look that up, you will see United States is, of course, quite in top, but equally on top, sometimes even above the United States, are the social democratic countries, Germany and Scandinavian social democracies. So it is not that social by following social democracy, you are giving up on the dynamism of capitalism. Country those countries are keeping the cap dynamism of capitalism, and yet they are labor friendly. That's the thing I want to emphasize. 